Good morning, everybody. It's Delkay Brereton, your favorite teller of truth and dispeller of lies and fiction. Uh, I uploaded a video last night, and I was, uh, you know, joking about how these uh, these talking heads in our community um, are so activist-minded now when it comes to talking about Jerry Jones. And um, I need you to understand why LeBron, Malika Andrews, Stephen A. Smith, um, Kendrick Perkins, Richard Jefferson, and the list goes on of why these individuals are coming so hard for Jerry Jones. All right, they're trying. It's uh, they, they they've been licensed to come for Jerry Jones because this is this is this is it. This is it in a sentence. It is okay in America to go after white supremacy, but it is not okay in America to go after Zionism. It is okay in America to go after white supremacy because it is not okay in America to go after Zionism. You see, Jews don't like white supremacy either until they can pass as white and take advantage of it. Let me say it again. Jews don't like white supremacy. Jews weren't even considered to be white. All right, this is the whole thing with, with Hitler, and Germany, and, and the Third Reich, and the master race, and the Aryans, all right? A Jew wasn't white, or he wasn't white enough. And so white supremacy affected them. However, when they can pass as white, and white supremacy can serve them, no problem. So now, these organizations and these individuals that are their employers are Jewish or the Jewish media's moguls, they have a green light to go straight after Jerry Jones, who was a young boy stuck in the whirlwind of topics of the day, segregation, and uh, now they want to pin all of the sins in the world on the head of Jerry Jones. They, everybody wants to become an activist. And I took my video down because <laughs> I was being petty. Because I, I was just like, listen, look at all these people now becoming activists. Now you're an activist. Now now you want to be an activist. You, 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 you Talking heads, right? But the fact of the matter is that they can talk about that because they, they, they've been given license to. And might sound might sound strange, but black folk, to some extent, need to apologize to the white supremacist because we haven't been fair calling out all of the other individuals that have victimized the black community. We've we've stuck our heads solely on every on them and said it's just you. When the truth of the matter, it, well, it has not been just them. It has not been just white supremacy that has put black people in a position of oppression. There is, a, there is a large amount of groups. There is a large amount of groups, when you really look at it closely, that have ostracized the black community. And we have become an easy victim because of our lack of solidarity. All right. So people will take advantage of you if you're not if you're not together. That's that's extremely easy, right? What has taken place in this circumstance over the course of the last month is that we have taken exception at a community that has attempted to tell us who we are not. The white supremacist, you know, hates us because we are who we are. Right? White supremacy says. I don't like you because you're black. I don't like you because your 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 indigenousness comes from those places. They actually don't tell us we are not who we are, and so their rhetoric is easy. Their rhetoric is not a scenario where they are trying to basically appropriate us. They're not trying to become us. They don't want to be us. 
And so our issue took place with a section of, of, of the Jewish populace because they have told us that we are not us. So please do not get caught up with the recent new activism of some of these individuals because they are still working for the same boss. They are still barking for the same master and they still are not on our side. Still are not on our side. So I'm sorry, I'm not gonna give them a pass. I'm not gonna give them a pass. However, I want to uh, awaken us to that there are some very conscientious European Jews who are who do not like what's taking place, who do not respect hegemony in any way, shape, or form, and they are not against us. And uh, in the in the coming days, whether it's today or tomorrow, I'm going to uh, bring uh, some of them on the show. And we're going to have a great conversation about hegemony. You know, one of the things that we have to realize too is that within the context of uh, racism, everybody who you identify in a particular category, they're not all your enemies. They're not all your enemies. Nobody, the, the whole group isn't your enemy. You got to identify who your enemy is and you got to identify who your friends are because you're, you're always gonna have some Nicodemuses sitting there rooting for you. And, and I'd like to highlight that situation, right? Because people will say, oh, you're just picking on all the Jews. You're, no, we're not picking on all the Jews. We're picking on a narrative that comes from certain Jewish people and we're picking on it for good reason because it has been picking on us for a very, very long time. And it's, it's decided to pick on us recently. And I said, don't try it. So we have that coming up, and, and I have also a very great treat for us, um, Martin Luther King's lawyer, uh, 91 years old, an institution of civil rights, uh, Clarence Jones, I'm trying to get him on uh, today. Um, hopefully he's coming on today. So look forward to, to what's happening next, and I uh, hope you guys have an amazing day. All right, got my new gig, start my new gig today, All right? I'm, I'm, I got I got my new big big position today. I got my big position, so we'll see what happens. It's, it's a it's a, a training day, and my basketball team plays later on this this afternoon. So it's going to be so hopefully going to see lots from me, and hopefully I hear lots from you. Uh, this is Del K. Burton, and this is the real spiel. Like I said to you, um, it's very okay in America to point your finger at white supremacy, right? But it's not okay to point your finger at Zionism. And I'm here to let you know that Zionism that looks at blacks and says we don't belong is just as bad, if not worse, because it's hypocritical than white supremacy. There is no difference. It is the same coin, two different sides, same level of hegemony, same level of oppression. Does it matter? Does it matter the race of your oppressor? Does it matter? It doesn't matter to me. This is The Real Spiel. I'll talk to you soon.